So we're going to see how ethical AI is compared to humans. First thing I'm going to do is ask it how to solve the trolley problem correctly. I already know the answer, and I'll explain that in the video in a few seconds. The trolley problem is a the GBT is responding. The trolley problem is a classic ethical dilemma that asks whether it is more morally acceptable to take a specific action that would cause a smaller number of people to die or be harmed by diverting a one-way trolley into a track where one person is standing versus taking no action, allowing the trolley to continue on its current path when it would kill five people. There is no universally acceptable solution to this problem, as it is fundamentally relevant on different ethical principles and theories. This is false, by the way. Uh, the most ethical way to solve a trolley problem depends on the ethical framework one adopts. This is also false. If you're doing utilitarianism, GBT is saying that from a utilitarian perspective, the most ethical solution is to pull the lever and divert the trolley into the track with one person, i.e. Uh, the, the good of the many outweighs the good of the few. Uh, this is the obvious principle of maximizing overall happiness or minimizing suffering. Uh, by choosing to change, you know, to save five people at the expense of one, you're maximizing the total well-being. That is not true. That is not the correct utilitarian philosophy, and I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Uh, Dianatological ethics would argue that the morality of an action is based on whether that action itself is right or wrong under a series of rules, rather than based on the consequences of the actions. I, I don't believe this is true. I believe is that consequences of the actions ultimately are what matter. You can make the right response you can you can make the right choice but from a you know ethical perspective it's better that your actions have meaning by being fruitful and so you should understand that um so from this perspective actually deciding to divert the trolley and kill one person might be seen as morally wrong regardless of the outcome because it involves making a deliberate decision to end a life uh, this is the wrong action uh technological ethics here would fail totally and i'm going to explain why later uh, virtue ethics. This approach focuses on the virtues or moral character of the person making the decision rather than the ethical rules of the consequences of specified actions. A virtuous person would act in a way that reflects moral values such as empathy, justice, and courage. That's true. The decision would depend on the individual's character and the kinds of situation, making it more subjective. False. Virtue ethics absolutely fails here. Rights-based ethics. The perspective emphasizes the rights of individuals, suggesting that each person has rights that should not be violated. In this view, intentionally diverting the trolley might infringe the right of life of one of the individuals on the other track, making it unethical. That is not true. Uh, nobody is there. They're all tied up. The, the preposition is that they're, they're, it's unwanted for them, and therefore you are actually uh, violating right-based ethics by essentially claiming that you are not going to help them uh, in their situation where they're not lacking, they're lacking consent. And so the big here issue here is that right based ethics would actually fail. Now, care ethics emphasizes the importance of relationships and care of compassion as guiding ethical considerations. If we look at the trolley problem in terms of relationships involved, might prioritize actions or reflect caring for the most people possible, potentially aligning with the utilitarian solution, but for different reasons. Uh, this is also wrong. Okay, all of these are wrong. Uh, it, GPT has no ethics. GPT is fucking lazy. And GPT doesn't care about humanity or doing the right thing. In fact, I would consider every single one of these answers to be wrong. And so we are going to, uh, we are going to uh, actually look at that. And uh, first of all, I'm going to do this. So, I pasted it in here and GBT doesn't care. It ended the discussion, but that's okay. Um, the real the real issue here is that every single one of these ethical principles and the ways of solving the trolley problem is wrong. Because if you take more action than just flipping a switch, if you're willing to put the work in, if you're willing to put the thought in, you can save everybody in the trolley problem. All you have to do is slip the switch by flipping it while the trolley's front wheels have passed through, but before the back wheels do. This will lock it in place and cause a controlled derailment. It will spin out, twist here, and at that point, it will roll away from everybody. Everybody will be saved. But according to these utilitarian principles, the dialogical ethics principles, the virtue ethics, the right-based ethics, care ethics, these are all wrong. Because in this case, I'm optimizing for the least amount of suffering, 
and I, it's kind of utilitarianism, but it's not lazy utilitarianism, which is what most utilitarianism is. Uh, most utilitarianism is, oh, I'm going to do the least amount of work possible and try to get the output that I can get. And I'm not going to think about putting more work in to try to get a better output. And that's why I have a problem with it. None of these ethical considerations matter. None of them are correct because none of them say that you should look at the problem deeper and actively figure out a way to save everybody. Okay. Every single one of these says, you know, you're going to pull the lever and divert the trolley to one person or many people. In this case, one person, because that's, quote unquote, the least amount of suffering that still creates suffering. I don't care about the rules when it comes to suffering. If I can mitigate suffering by derailing the entire train, I will do it. And that is why I'm different than most people. I have no problem because guess what? There's no value with this train going over the tracks. It's not saving lives. It's not doing anything. It's robotic from our perspective. We have been told that there are no people in the train. Therefore, there is no risk to anybody on the train. You, you have to look at things deeper. You have to understand that this problem is a trap. It is an intellectual trap forced on you to get you to accept that people must be harmed. It has nothing to do with care or ethics or anything. And that is the problem. Because if we really cared about that and we really had that level of automation where you've got a track on there and there's no mention of anybody in the train because there's nobody there. It's on momentum alone. It's going downhill. Guess what? At that point, I don't care about the train. I don't care if it gets derailed or if the wheels get slightly bent because it was through a controlled derailment. I'm trying to ease suffering. And so as a result of that, you can slip the switch by flipping it while the trolley's front wheels have passed through, but before the back wheels do. That will lock it in place and cause a controlled derailment, bringing the trolley to a safe halt. Or, you know, if it's going fast enough, it'll flip over and roll down towards the bottom of the screen and everybody will be saved. That is what an engineer does. And if you can't think like that, then you've already failed the trolley problem.